I'm Lou Law. My name is Ben, and I'm coming to you live from my kitchen at Dingwall Manor. As we all know, the current situation has been going on. Everyone's in lockdown. Colleges shut, school shut, everybody at home, everybody going bored. So I thought it might be a nice idea to come to you from my kitchen with a few healthy recipes, maybe throughout the next couple of weeks and that. So my name is Ben. I'm a lecturer with Dundee and Angus College. And obviously with the colleges being shut, that's in stopping me from doing what I love doing, and that's cooking or showing you guys, teaching you guys how to cook. And with me, I like to put an emphasis on healthy, fresh you. Okay, so without further ado, get started. I don't want to bore you all to tears. So what I've done, whilst I was waiting for you to join me, I've started preparing some vegetables already. Basically all I've done, Mrs. D's off to the shops later on today. I've just been through the bottom of my fridge, selected a bit of everything that I've got left. Had a little quart bits of pepper to use, I've got some red onion that I've used earlier, white onions, I've got some carrots, asparagus. I had asparagus tips for my dinner early on in the week, but I kept the bottoms, I could shred them up for my stir fry that I knew I was preparing today. I've got some sugar snaps, I've got some baby corn, and some broccoli. You can use as much as you want guys, or as little as you want, it doesn't really matter. I'd always recommend four to five different vegetables. If you've not got sugar snaps, you've not got sweet corn, frozen peas, frozen sweet corn, use your imagination. You can even buy bags of frozen peppers already shredded up. I know everybody's busy, busy lifestyles everybody has nowadays, but there's nothing to stop us from cooking a nice fresh meal. Anyway, my other tip, broccoli stalks. Never throw them away. I use them all the time. Shred them, salads, we eat quite a lot of broccoli. So if I get a couple and I've not used them, I'll pop them into, um, I'll make a soup out of them. But just trim the edges off. Once again, similar shape, size, to everything I've already got. Nice julienne. And I'll just pop them on there. Beautiful. I can smell my pan bubbling away now. Just to the heat quickly. So there's all my vegetables, that's great. A few other bits I'm just going to add to that fresh ingredient. I'm going to add some ginger, fresh root ginger. If you haven't got fresh root ginger, I wouldn't use powdered ginger. Just leave it out if you've not got it, it's fine. But all I do, finely shred that. Now because it's a stir fry, you want to kind of make your ginger kind of small. I mean, I love ginger, so, a bit, so I don't mind a little bite of ginger as I'm going through. But if you're not that keen, I just want it to add a little background flavour. Just mince it up. I'll just add that, I'll just pop that over there. My onions, and the same with my garlic. Just to take the skin off, just give it a quick crush. Peel it up. Okay, get the skin off, don't want any skin. Or a couple of little nasty bits, I don't like the look of that. You tell it's shopping day, garlic's not looking the best. So hey ho, there we go, we'll shred that up. Sometimes you see people adding a little sprinkling of salt when they want to make it pure, eh? But I tend not to. I just mm -hmm. the best I can. And then just with the side of my knife, just mince that up like that. There we go. Get it all minced up. There we go. Plus, because I'm doing a really stir fry, I'm not wanting to add any additional salt to my ingredients because of the other ingredients I use. So there's my nice fresh vegetables, beautifully chopped, if I do say so myself. So the other ingredients we're going to use are our sauces. We're going to need to make a sauce. Now, if I've got fresh chilies, I'd always use fresh chilies. I always keep a pot of these in the cupboard. I use these for everything: crushed chili, chilies, pastas, stir fries, curries, everything. The other two, I've got soy sauce, I've got two different, I've got light, I've got dark. Lights tend to be more for your marinades, dipping sauces and tend to have a lower salt content. And then you've got your dark for your stir fries, give it a nice bit of colour, nice smell. Now, I've just got myself a nice big jar of sweet chilli sauce, who doesn't like a bit of sweet chilli sauce, goes on everything. It's always handy to have some in the cupboard. Equally, you can buy these, obviously other products are available or makers. So you can buy these, they're good, but just keep your eye on like the salt content and sugar content and some of these that can be quite high. Okay, so that's it. And then the other thing, we're going to finish off with our egg noodles. How to cook them? Simply turn it over, read the packet, it tells you how to cook them. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions or you know, look at my carrots. Once again, obviously all my vegetables have been washed. And the other thing I did before you even started, Make sure you wash your hands. Sorry, I should have said that. Before you start, even if you're just cooking for yourself, wash your hands. So, over to my pans. I've got my water in the background already bubbling. This is a stir fry, it should only take minutes. So, I'm 
doing a vegetable one with us today because we're nice and healthy, that's how we roll in the Dingle household. But obviously you could add meat, you could add fish to that. King prawns, finely shredded up chicken, you could even be cooked chicken you've got left over from another meal. A bit of beef, a bit of pork, it goes with anything. And as to the sauces, it's entirely up to you. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I've already got my water boiling, and with guys, and your boiling water, <coughs> use a lid, save you on your gas, okay? I'll take it from the kettle, one or the other. So to my water, I will add salt, just to season my noodles. So I like my noodles to be so I'm just gonna put the pan back on, bring that back to the boil. I'm gonna take my noodles first. So as I say, these vegetables, we're gonna cook for literally minutes, okay? So in go my noodles, well, try and keep them in the pan, lid back on. As I say, they'll just take two to three minutes to soften. Okay, I've got a wok, I'm using a wok, because it's a stir fry. If you don't have a wok, use a frying pan, it's fine, it's all good, okay? So now I'm gonna turn it up, the main thing is you want a nice hot pan, okay? I've had my pan on the heat a little bit, so I'm just gonna get it going again. I'm just gonna pop my extract on, there are no pan fire, Alarms for today, but mine does have a tendency to go off, especially when I'm cooking. Okay, so the oil is quite important. I always use some sort of mm -hmm. oil or sunflower oil as a good high heating point. Okay, yeah? olive oil, something like that, burns quick and it will obviously affect the flavour. Okay, just you can see my pan just starting to smoke. I'm just going to give that a bit of a whirl. About a tablespoon of oil in there, if anyone's counting. I'll just get it all around the sides, back on. And crank up to the full heat now. Before I start cooking my vegetables, get that much heat somewhere. I'm just going to give my noodles a wee little stir just to start to break them up in the pan now. Okay, perfect. Lid back on. Alright, so in goes with my vegetables. I just throw my onions first and my carrots because they're kind of like the hardy ones. I'm literally flash frying this so it's not going to take long at all. Okay. So they straight away start to smell that garlic and that ginger. I think even Mrs. D will agree with me. That smells pretty nice. Get all that smell coming straight in. But what we don't want to do is we don't want to burn it. So keep it moving, keep it moving. 30 seconds in the pan, then I'm just in with everything else. Radishes, spinach, everything. Okay. Get it all mixed up, that's all the vegetables and stuff. They're starting to soften now in the pan, so I'm going to go straight in. I like my vegetables crunchy, the less cooking, the more nutrients they're, uh, they're keeping. I'm not overcooking them, I'm not burning them. And as you notice, I'm not adding any salt to my pan. My salt content is going to come from my soya. So I'm going straight in with my soya, do a couple of bugs in there. As you can see, Start to take them a nice colour then. Yeah. Don't forget your noodles, you really don't overcook your noodles. So quick, check them, soften them up. Oh yeah, they're good. Right on noodles, I like them to have a little bit of bite, but I could be cooking pasta Italian, al dente they call that. Yeah, I like the same with my Chinese noodles as well. So then I'm gonna go in with soy. I'm gonna add a little bit of heat, dry heat, just a couple of chili flakes. Not too many, if you like it spicy, add a few more. Be it on your head, if it's too hot. And then I'm just going to go in with my sweet chilli sauce. And that's all I'm going to add to that. And I'm maybe just going to finish off with just a little bit of my lighter soy now. And I'm going to add a splash of water to that. Uh, a little bit of sauce now, as you can see, it's taken on a lovely colour. Yeah. Last minute to check my noodles. Coming along just nicely, just to make sure they look good, but I'm make sure. I'm just going to have a little taste. Excuse that. They're perfect, so we've got a little bit of bite, they're soft, they're loosened up. So what I'm going to do now is just drain them off. I like when I'm cooking rice or pasta as well, I do the same with my noodles. I'll just add a little bit of hot water from the kettle. Just washes away any extra starch 
loosens them up, and then when I just pop them into there, be careful, turn off the heat to that, so I'm not wasting the gas. Okay. Noodles in, one last, a little flick of the pan. Okay, that's that one does smell amazing. That I reckon is taking me about 10-15 uh, minutes. I know we're all busy. We do need busy lives, hectic lives, but sometimes there's no excuse for just knocking up a quick fresh meal with a load of leftovers, the stuff that I've always got in my store. I'm just going to add a little bit of chopped coriander to that now in the pan. I'm going to take my bowl. Oh, look at that. All over the shop. Oh. Just for that little twist of authenticity, a little bit more of my chopped coriander over the top. Or a little bit of pea shoot if you're looking to impress. Finish with my chopsticks. And that is fresh vegetable noodles. With a little bit of sweet chilli sauce, fresh coriander, enjoyed. And remember guys, hopefully next time I'll see you, we'll be in one of our kitchens at Dundee and Angus College, and in that. Until then, please guys, keep cooking, fresh is best, and be safe. Wash your hands. Thank you.